Hi guys, it's Lewis here from Gay Times and I'm here with Dino Fetcher at Mighty Hoopla. Um, hey Dino. Hey. First of all, um, what did you do? You jobbed in Victor in years and years. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. <laughs> Sorry, okay. But so many people have come up to me after this and been like, oh, you bastard, what have you done? It's like, imagine you were left to die at the end of the world and your husband left you to go with a guy in a shipping container. Okay? Would you not have a moment of absolute madness and sadness where you go, yeah, I'm gonna... I don't think, my, I don't think he is a bad person and wanted to do that, but I, I completely empathise and understand why, why he did it. Obviously you've seen the sort of the consequences of that action in the following episodes. Um, as a viewer, how did you sort of react to that? I mean, I think it's horrific and you'll see it in the next episode. It's not something, obviously, when something like that happens, it was never the intention. It was just a moment. Um, and the implications are horrific because he loves and loved Daniel. And how have you found working with the cast of years and years? It must have been a brilliant experience. Amazing, yeah. It's a second, second, third time I've worked with uh, Russell T Davis, and he just has this knack of creating these amazing casts and atmospheres. So it's always such a fun, brilliant job. And this cast in particular was we just had such a laugh every day because it's obviously quite tense and morbid, but in between takes we were just laughing so much. Like in the first episode, when the siren's going off and we're looking around, hearing the sound, we had to do that about five times because we just kept having to look around, but we all just kept corpsing. It must have been quite haunting though. When you, that, those sirens in general are quite haunting anyway, when you hear like sort of yeah. what- When we were filming, there weren't the sirens. That's why it was funny. So they were like, they were like, siren? <laughs> and we were like, <laughs> it felt so like naff. But then when it all came together, it was magic. And obviously at the centre of the show is this, uh, this gay relationship. I mean, how important is, is it to have that kind of visibility on a primetime show on BBC One? I think it's vitally important. And the thing that Russell's done so amazingly is that it's not a show that's, surround, that's not focused around a gay relationship. This Daniel and Daniel just happens to be gay and he was married to a man, then he meets someone else. Obviously the Victor storyline and, and the, the immigration is based in what's happening with gay rights and stuff. But, it's important to represent people who are just gay. And it's like, I'm gay, and this is the story, or this is my life. And I think we've progressed so much just being about coming out and dying with HIV and AIDS and drugs. But now we're, we're at a point in our society where it's, people are just gay, and, and we should just be represented with other storylines, and that's just a factor about who we are. LGBTQ is just part of the fabric. Exactly, and I think that's what's so important. Instead of making it, focusing on all the negatives and the struggles, Thank you so much for talking to me today. Pleasure. And have some fun. Hello. Thank you, dude.